Well, I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartelia. About 30 minutes ago, Kenny took to the podium to thank supporters, his staff, and his family. Here are the numbers broken down for you. Kenny took a 66%, while State Senator Anthony Williams, 23%, and Alan Butkovitz took 9%. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is at the National Museum of American Jewish History tonight, headquarters for the Kenny celebration. Greg? And the music is still playing here at Kenny's headquarters, but both the mayor and most of his supporters have left the building tonight. This after an easy victory in the Democratic primary. Now, Kenny and the two men who wanted his job cast their ballots this morning. Incumbent Mayor Jim Kenny facing off against former city controller Alan Buckovitz and state senator Anthony Williams. Both men promising to repeal Kenny's signature achievement, a tax on sugary drinks, the profits of which have gone to fund pre-K programs in the city. But neither of those Democratic contenders were able to pull off an upset. And moments ago, Mayor Kenny accepting his party's nomination. When we started this journey back in 2015, we did something remarkable. We were able to bring people together from all across our city, from all walks of life, to unite around a common message that every neighborhood matters. I am very proud that once again, so many Philadelphians came together to support our efforts to keep moving this city forward. Serving as your mayor has been the greatest honor of my life. <laughs> now in just about the past 15 minutes or so, both Buckovitz and Williams have conceded the race. You're going to hear their responses as well as what the mayor plans to go forward with during his campaign. That's coming up tonight at CBS 3 Eyewitness News at 11. That is the latest live here in Center City. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. We know that song, Greg. Thank you.